I'm Amanda Wood and I'm going to show you how to make these cool little mushrooms. We made these things out of a new material called Paltaya Premium and it's a concrete like clay that you mix up like cookie dough and when you apply it to a surface and let it set overnight and cure it in water for anywhere from 5 to 28 days, it is hard as rock. And even more impressively, this stuff is hard almost as stone before I even cured it. So it set overnight and it was already this hard. For this project, you're gonna need some cardboard, some aluminum foil, a hot glue gun, a trial size bag of pal a couple of gloves, a trowel, a fork from your kitchen, a smoothing rib, maybe a file, and some sandpaper. And I'm adding two cups of paltaya and a quarter cup of water and mixing it up in a mixer. And you want the paltaya to be pliable and you want to be able to smoosh it around and flatten it out without it cracking. If it starts cracking on you, it doesn't have enough water and you just add a tiny bit more. If it's uh, sticking to everything and it's kind of runny and you, it, it's sticking to the bowl and the beater that, that you've got it in or whatever you're mixing it up in, you know that you need to add a little bit more powder and remix it because if it's too wet for sure, it will not set properly and it'll feel like mud and it'll break apart like mud. So you wanna be very careful with your mix. To form these mushroom caps, I just took a piece of cardboard and made kind of a cone shape. I, I cut out a circle and made a cone shape and wrapped it with tin foil and kind of patted up the tip to round it out. Just figured that's a, a pretty simple process that you can probably figure out on your own. We don't have to spend the video time to show you that. But I'm applying all of this paltaya in sections. I've been flattening it out with my hands first and then applying the pieces blending them together and now I'm smoothing it with my trowel and that little red rubber piece that you see to the left of the screen that is a little rubber kidney um, or a pottery smoothing tool and you can drag it across the surface um, you want to lay it down as much as you can you drag it across the surface and smooth it so here we created the foundations for the stems. Paltaya likes to wrap around a shape with like tin foil that's been crumpled up to give it some texture. It's like scaffolding that holds the paltaya in place. It likes to grip on things. It'll kind of slump down if it doesn't have something to grip to. So we made little wire forms with uh, tin foil and we're, we're putting tin foil in there to really give it something to grab onto and I used brass wires, old coat hangers, to form these. I've got some aluminum pieces in there. So we let this stuff set up overnight and now that it's set up overnight it's strong enough to take it out of the forms. So we're picking out the forms and I'm using tools to pick it out and you can kind of see where the tin foil has disintegrated with the chemical reaction to the paltaya. So it, it kind of disintegrates that stuff in there. So sometimes you have to get a scrub brush to get the rest of the rest of the tin foil out. And we're picking and pulling and picking and pulling. And then it takes a little bit of work, but it comes out. So once it's all cleaned out, we're gonna wet it down a little bit and we're gonna add some more paltaya to the inside to cover up that ugly texture that was left by the tin foil. I'm rolling out some more paltaya and just pressing it into place, and smoothing it out. And when you first lay it down, you can get kind of rough with it, and then you just smooth it out later. So I'm wetting the area where it's gonna come into contact with the stem, dry it off, dry off the excess water. You don't want excess water on there because it'll make it too soupy and it won't set. Just damp is perfect. So I dampened the tip of the stem and I'm gonna press that down into place. Because I left marks in the wide end of the stem so that the clay would have something to grab onto, it's gonna be a much more secure bond. So don't forget to scratch up the texture of whatever you're gonna attach it to, so it kind of forms a bond like a zipper. And when I, when I invert it, I'm gonna stand it up and let it sit that way. And now we're ready to put it under plastic overnight. It's really important to let this set under plastic overnight before you sand it and soak it. 
Now at this point, I decided I was gonna sand them down a little bit and do a little bit of filing and get rid of some of the bumps and the seams that you can see. Uh, so I, I'm doing that before I soak them because once they're soaked, they're so hard that they're difficult to sand. So we're soaking it in water here. Because these things soaked for five days, they're strong enough to go outside and be completely weatherproof, even in freezes and thaws or extreme heat outdoors. Here, I've got them outdoors and I've got a torch. And Paltaya has little elastic fibers in there. And these fibers give it strength while you're building and also strength after the fact, but they can give you a little bit of trouble when you're trying to paint the surface. So you wanna burn off these excess fibers that have kind of come out to the surface. And this is an important step. Make sure you're moving your torch quickly so the Paltaya doesn't crack or pop off in layers. And for outdoor pieces, I highly recommend that you get a good quality exterior grade house paint with a flat finish. And that's what we painted on the stems and on the mushroom caps. And now we're going to thin the paint down and airbrush some highlights around the edges so we get like a nice gradated coloring around the edges. It just kind of brings it to life a little bit more. And then once it was all finished and airbrushed the way we wanted, we painted little circles, little dots all over the tops of the mushroom caps to uh, give it a nice, fun mushroom feel. We made little paper cuffs to keep the stems from getting paint on them. When you've got it where you want it, I highly recommend spraying it with a UV protective sealer for outdoor use. Here's what it looks like finished. We put it in a planter so that you could see what it might look like in a yard. And because we made this for a TV show, we had to bring a yard that we could take with us. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope you give this really cool product a try. It's been a game changer for me. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and be sure to get notifications when I put out new content.